All right. Hello, Aquarius. This is your daily reading. I hope that the mic is doing well. We're using a new mic. Um, let's get into it. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So we've got past, present and future energies here with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Very good card. It looks like you are self-promotion, promoting yourself. Uh, choosing to take the high road, you know, by way of your own principles, morals, what makes sense to you. Um, choosing not to stay in the five of wands energy, fighting for adversity, competing wills, goals, opposition, uh, choosing to walk off, strutting your stuff, you know, looking good, doing so. Um, that's what the six of wands is about. Also, it's about a proposal. You know, you could be, be proposing yourself or your your industry hurt, your your business, your service, your whatever. You could be proposing it to someone, making a proposal. So this is very interesting here. Uh, but it's also very good. Also, you're finding some balance and some harmony now um, by way of you doing something, acting on something. Because remember, the wands are about, you know, action, movement. So let's see what the past was about for you, Aquarius. The full card, very nice. Stepping out on something new, dynamic, um, a leap of faith, resting on uh, the beginner's luck. Um, this could be a new relationship, a new business, a new venture. Just getting out there, putting yourself out there. Um, maybe this could even be online dating, uh, carefree connections nothing uh, serious uh, either between you and someone else if, if that's how you wanted it to be this again could be new business new job just renewing yourself newness here you have opportunity to start over um, this is being uh, fit fun and fabulous and not even knowing it just really just resting in the energy of um, wholesomeness or whole, being wholesome maybe even naive innocent with the full card this is also taking a leap of faith in a new direction so it wouldn't be a leap back into it would be a leap away from all right and presently we have the wow the ace of pentacles very nice aquarius so we have an opportunity presenting itself to you one that it says no chase you're, gonna, you're not gonna have to chase this opportunity down you're not gonna have to run after it you don't have to worry about it you know leaving you I'm going to someone else. This is an opportunity presented to you by way of the heavens. The ace is just a new start. What you do with it is what you do with it. You can fumble it. You know, you can um, mess this up. Hopefully you take the opportunity. And it says if you don't see an opportunity here for growth, longevity, look again, because there is opportunity here for you. This could be start once again, starting a new business, a new workout regimen, strength training, uh, getting your vitality up, better health, uh, starting a garden, again, business, a windfall of money, uh, money that can help you uh, in terms of growth, not just money for you to do, squander, and then you're back in need again. But it says the ace is something that you have to nurture, cultivate. As you start a garden, you have to, of course, till the land, the soil, Put the seeds in the soil, water the soil. You then have to nurture it. You have to go out there. People do lots of different things to um, make their plants veg veggies or flowers or whatever. They do a lot to make their garden grow and thrive. I mean, I've heard from people singing, you know, to their their plants in their um, yeah their plants in their trees. So it's about cultivation. It's about nurturing, doing something. Um, that will uh, promote growth here. So you're going to have to promote growth in this Ace of Pentacles. It's not just here you are. Now you don't have to work for the rest of your life, Aquarius. No, not really. You know, let's just be realistic uh, here. So this is something that you're going to have to nurture, grow. Also, it says you might be making a large purchase or something could have manifested for you. So now you're seeing that um, you can actually do self-actualization in the uh, ace of pentacles that you know if you prayed about it if you worked toward it you could actually have you could actually do 
It also says that psychologically, your mental and psychological capacity is uh, at such a high level that you're understanding um, your self-worth and you're understanding your potential. A uh, potential is expon exponential. Um, it is. Uh, it could be phenomenal for you because uh, now you, you understand something, okay? You understand maybe that um, in order to have, you have to do. You have to be doing something. You, have, you understand the work. Um, you understand work. You know, you understand force and time. We won't get into that, but it's, a, it's like the Aquarius has really... Uh, this also could be a new sexual opportunity that comes to you. Um, it looks like you guys will get physical rather soon too i don't know i was prompted to say that um and this is in the present <clears throat> um it, it's only if you want it's only for the taking you don't have to do it what it looks like aquarius it's like you are butterflies um you are renewed you are something new you are beautiful you could have be seeing butterflies you could have saw butterflies um ace of pentacles maybe the beginning of fall you were seeing a lot of butterflies September all right so let's see what the future holds for my Aquarius um, three of Pentacles and the nine of swords okay so it looks like um, this is the initial stages of success here Aquarius it says that in the three of Pentacles you are doing what you're supposed to be doing this why you're putting out high quality work that's why superiors uh, co-workers uh, competitors are seeing what you're doing and they uh, they're watching you closely because you're putting out some high quality work here um, they're under they're trying to understand where the spark um, the mental spark the um, the tenacity they're trying to see where it comes from where are you getting your energy from energy from where is it you know where does it derive and in the Three of Pentacles, it says that the, the the divine, the feminine and masculine energies are here. Therefore, and the divine spark is here holding the feminine and masculine energies together. Therefore, you put out high quality work because you have the, the divine spark here. So you have the universe, divinity, whatever it is you believe in to be divine. You have it working with you in your uh, career finance sector. There also could be some paperwork legal legal issues you need to kind of tie up or you're waiting for them to be tied up if you will have people patronizing your uh business your service uh whatever it is you do um also if you don't work for yourself and you have a career you will have people um seeking you out higher ups looking at you also in the three of pentacles it talks about trying to figure out how you can share your life with another person it also talks about doing something tangible together. Like we're going to have to move in together. We're going to have to buy something. We're going to have to it also could talk about real estate. Um, it also talks about working together in groups, teamwork, <clears throat> which you are doing well in. You may be even in a leadership compa capacity. The three of pentacles in the future energy too. Um, You've created something. You've gone from the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, and you you have really made something um, aware, abundant. You have created this thing, and now it's about getting it to the next level, in the next level, in the next level. Um, in the threes, you're still actively doing something. You also are communicating your ideas and your yeah your ideas your achievements, your goals with other people. You're, commu you're communicating what you've learned or what you're learning also. With, it, with the Nine of Swords coming out with this, it seems as if you're at a place of, I don't know, anxiety or unrest. This could also be looked at in terms of your relationship, relationship uh, sector you could be separated from somebody back to needing to learn how to share your life with this person. Maybe your person feels that way. How do I 
come back together with the Aquarius or vice versa. The Aquarius is saying that about a particular person. How do I go back to? How do we get out of the place of the Nine of Swords, of it almost being over, of it of it going to full on completion and, and um, us either having a really hard time coming back from this or needed to start over something new. And the Nine of Swords, there's somebody who is being attacked by their emotions and their thoughts here. It's almost as if they tried to run away from the meta at times or at a particular time, maybe when they were with you, but now they're being kind of faced or they're being forced to face their emotions, their thoughts here. Somebody is going over what was said, what was done, a fallout, an argument. Um, somebody is understanding that um, uh, something about scapegoat, trying to make someone the scapegoat. There's someone at a place of not being able to cope with um, this loss. Somebody's sleep pattern is messed up. Aquarius, your sleep pattern could be kind of off too. You could work overnight. You could be a night shift worker. Um, I heard nightclub also. Um, you're working together in a group with other people here. You may be, they may wake you up in your sleep also to handle business related matters. It looks like you found your footing, some stability also in, in this thing. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, Something brings you a lot of anxiety, a lot of unrest. There is no rest. You sleep, but you do not rest. Your brain is it's just going a mile a minute. You have a hard time getting to sleep. And for some of you, you have a hard time staying asleep. All right, give me one card. Heavenly signs, yeah. Something, somebody is visiting you in your sleep, all right? Or trying to, yeah. Definitely trying to uh, visit you in your sleep. Um, They want you to take some action towards them. I think, okay, a little bit, they're a bit cowardly. They don't, they don't want to come towards you. Um, they just don't have the courage to do so right now. So they feel like it is best for them to continuously think of you, um, have you on their mind, on their heart, so that um, you will then reach out to them. They're trying to give you some heavenly sign here. You may be seeing things, flowers, uh, not flowers, excuse me, feathers, um, a lyric in, 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 in a song. Um, things are just standing out to you, of course. Numbers and synchronicity. Aquarius, you're in the spotlight and, and someone sees you and they see you moving away from them. They see no opportunity. All they can do is think about you. I knew it. And look what came out. Club hopper. I'm sorry. Club hopper. Yeah, you know, like somebody works at a club. Someone does some work at a club. Somebody could have bounced around in a relationship. Uh, therefore, they didn't take the relationship serious. You could have been in a long-term love affair where it felt like it was a relationship, but you guys never put a, a stamp on it, a label on it. This person was bouncing around or you are Aquarius. Um, and now that you're separated, somebody feels like this is the end for real. Like, I think you guys have had several false endings, but somebody feels like this is the end. Okay. All right. Aquarius, that one's going to come out. Yeah. A whole lot of money and losing the house. Now, um, you could be losing your home. If you are Aquarius, that is okay. It has happened to us all. Um, make a plan, move forward, get the help that you need. There are resources out there. But a lot of times this card doesn't even mean that it means that a lot of times people, this means that people are losing the relationship and we see that in the nine of swords, um, losing the relationship because sometimes you can identify a relationship. It's like a home. You feel safe in your home. You feel protected and some people feel protected in their relationship, safe in their relationship. And now they're losing it. It also could be that somebody is losing their home and that's okay. Um, <laughs> All things, you know, must change. Um, hopefully it'll, everything will turn out for the best. Also, this could be selling the home with a um, whole lot of money coming out with losing the home here. Some of you are going to make a whole lot of money on this business venture, this idea, 
You just need to press forward. Don't have anxiety about this. Don't worry yourself here. Worry is not going to do anything for you. Remain positive. Think positive. You, you are able to manifest rapidly, especially with the Ace of Pentacles coming out. So make sure your thoughts are positive. Counteract negative thoughts with 10 different positive thoughts, okay? Um, don't rest in that energy of, woe is me, I won't ever have this and that. Also, make a plan. Don't dig yourself down in that hole. Get up. Get up. Get up, Aquarius. Um, life is not over. And I'm not talking at you. I'm talking with you, all right? So I'm going to leave you with another card, Aquarius, and then we're going to close this out. I hope that this daily reading, um, you took something from it and means something for you. Um, Aquarius, somebody could miss you a whole lot, too. They could, they could be doing a whole lot of thinking about you, you know, a whole lot of they are motivated to get you back here or, or to get you just come towards them. The, yeah. New career, Aquarius. Wow. In this new career, you definitely can't make this stuff up. I'm going to show you what I just split the deck with. In this new career, you could be making a whole lot of money. OK, um, because once again, you have the divine spark. OK, um, you have the divine spark, uh, divinity holding this all together for you because you're doing the right thing. You're in the right career field. Your work, your effort is effort is going to uh, good measure. Also, you are finding a joy in what it is you do. Uh, you're finding contentment, contentment, your, um, your life is going to get into like a self-sustaining rhythm where you do this, then you do that, then you do this, then you do that. And it all just kind of works together. You know, it's not as it is not so forced as maybe it used to be. All right. So as I split the deck, we got get some rest. We see that you're not resting, you're sleeping, but you're not resting and volunteer. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody wants you to come to them, okay? They want you to volunteer to come to them. It's very cowardly. Um, I want to say that um, they don't know what to say to you. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know what they'll get when they do approach you. Uh, so they feel like the best thing is for you to come to them, and then they can say all of the things that they want to say to you. They can um, maybe show up in a better capacity. I don't know. We're not going to get into that. Aquarius, this is what I have for you. What is this peeking out? Yeah, seeking and finding. All right. Um, yeah, but get some rest. Okay, so this is when you're when you really go into inertia. You stop, you stop it all. You know, you slow down. You don't just go to sleep, but you actually rest. So you need to get some of that. Get you know, get some of that. Get some some rest here. Um, Aquarius, you can get your own personal reading with me if you go over to the website. My website is below. Book there. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. You could buy me a coffee. If you took something from the reading, you could actually give something back. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Oh, catch me live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. I do a collective reading. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.